this is the formula for momentum that came from oh gosh his name is escaping me i know michael neal modified it but basically it is focused intentions over time times the x factor equals momentum so momentum is this this magical experience where you have enough things in motion that it's actually harder to stop it moving than it is to keep it going. It's a phenomenon in physics, right? Which I don't know jack shit about physics, but you know, momentum, we have an experience of it. So when you have enough actions, it does itself. It becomes inevitable. So how do you get there? And the, the concrete factors, the pieces that we can contribute are this, this focused intention for a certain period of time. If you show up enough, like if you just, if I were just to do one video a week, you know, or let's just say even make it more dramatic. Like I just make one video or one blog post I write a month. It's not nothing, but it's not really a focused intention. If I, if I, if I don't really know where I'm heading for with it, right, and I don't do it over a period of time, it's a little hard to get the momentum going, or it takes longer. But the cool thing is that it's not one plus one equals two. There's this X factor in there, the X factor or the God factor. When you're playing this game, at some point you'll put in one unit of input and get a hundred units of output. And you don't know when that's gonna happen, but it will happen because that's the nature of creation. At some point, this one thing that you do will give you way more than re results than you ever could have predicted. But we don't know when and we don't know where and we don't know what, but it is a part of the game and you can count on it, but you can't predict it. And so it's the showing up it's the, and consistency isn't a, a, it's what's consistent for you. It's how much time for you. You could do more, you could do less. There's no right or wrong way to do it. But if you keep playing the game, it's rigged to win.